Yo, yo, what's up guys, my name is Fawn, this is Forza Central, and today we're going to be looking at the 1987 Mercedes-Benz S65 AMG Hammer Coupe. This is a super ultra rare, probably one of the rarest Mercedes-Benz ever created. Uh, they only made, I believe, 12 of these. They made a sedan, a coupe and a station wagon version of the S65 Hammer Coupe of the 1987 year. The one we have today is the coupe version. Now under the hood here ladies and gentlemen we have a 6 liter V12 by turbo that produces 379 horsepower and 417 pound feet of torque. Not exactly world breaking numbers right there considering the fact that it's a 6 liter V12 but you have to understand it's 1987. Kind of makes sense. Um, now overall looks wise I love the way this car looks. It's super boxy but at the same time it has some curvy lines. I like the rear the classic Mercedes S class look and honestly the Hammer Coupe uh, is probably the most I would say your most significant car um, between the late uh, from the late 80s to the early 2000s. I would say this is one of the most important cars uh, during that era. Now, in the interior, we have <laughs> for an AMG is probably the most boring interior I have ever seen on the planet. It's beige with so much wood ladies and gentlemen it might as well be a cabin house um no honestly it's not surprising it's 1987 carbon fire wasn't a thing i don't think so uh yeah i mean it, it looks really good and, and when i say when carbon fire wasn't a thing i mean they they didn't incorporate it into the interior but let's let's hear the sound oh okay I do like the sound. I think this V12 isn't. Well, of course, it's carried over audio file wise. Carried over from the E63S AMG, I believe. But I wish it had, you know, the traditional 80s uh, V12 sound. But honestly, there's not a lot of talk about the interior. There's not. There's no really like quirks and features or anything like that. Um, I mean, it has a DVD player. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't. I. I. There's honestly, the interior of this car is so boring. It might as well be the epitome of James May. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically James May is a, or was a Top Gear pre pre uh, presenter, and was uh, or is actually I think currently a Grand Tour presenter and is known to be you know, Mr. Slowly the more gentleman type. Um, but yeah, so now I think we're gonna upgrade this very slight um, I'm not gonna do like top of a class or anything Honestly in the game. I'm just gonna make this you know a cruiser nothing crazy nothing race type I mean, it's a s65 It's not supposed to be you know a race car or anything it's supposed to be a grand wait. We have a wide oh Ooh, we have a wide body from Mercedes. I love it. I, I do like the look of I do, oh, okay, so we can replace that badge with the AMG badge. I do like a good Mercedes wide body. This is more fantastic. I don't know what suspension. Mm, yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess we could put that. That's good enough. Race weight reduction is needed. This thing handles like a bow. But uh, yeah, after this, let's see how this car handles in a race, you know, just in case, you know, ever, you know, uh, for some reason, if I want to take a S65 around a couple corners, I would want to know uh, what it handles like. I, I'm not, but honestly, in the game, if you're ever playing with me, I think I'm going to rock an S65 hammer coup. Just saying, guys, you know. I do like a good S65. I think the S65 coupe and convertibles have always been my one of my favorite Mercedes cars ever. I don't know why. There's just something about a S-Class coupe that I like. Um, there's no really. There's not really a good reason to be honest. 
but uh, I just I just like the package. You know, you get the performance somewhat, but you also get the comfort and you get the uh, you know all the luxury and whatnot. So now, um, let's see, what do I want to do? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, let's just drive it. I don't really want to change the color. I, I, I like, I like the old black and everything. Uh, enter, in, oh, oh, um. Right. The game is, okay. I don't, I, I don't know what... Yeah, let's let's let yeah, I'll just gloss over we we'll, we will gloss over that. Oh. Wow. Okay. That is uh I like the business. Oh we can get get that tail out. Okay, okay, okay. We can get a little slider with this if you probably if I uh you know Hey, it, it's pretty good. Got some good tools, you know what I mean? Hey, I do like the Volvo C Now, like I said, it's a, it's a more business-like uh, car. It's not really like racing on the track and whatnot. Even though it's a, the I would consider it more of a cruiser, a grand tourer. Some people would like to say, and uh, I agree. I do like it myself. A very relaxed, like a road course type of um, but yeah, they only made 12 of these. They made a sedan and they made a station wagon. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you who in the right state of mind that isn't good? Okay. Who's gonna say yes? I'm gonna spend a hundred thousand dollars on a S-Class station wagon. Yeah. It's not gonna be a normal one, it's gonna be a hammer coupe. But uh, I mean sorry, a hammer station wagon, yeah. I feel like that, you know, I, I don't want the more business-like sedan or the more boss-like coupe. No, 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 no. I want to be a more family type. I'm going to have an S-Class station wagon. Questionable decisions, ladies and gentlemen. And I will... Okay, I will say this isn't a good drift car. Yeah. We, we will gloss over what happened. But I do like to say that you have arrived this at your car destination. originally was $100,000. Actually, $101,258 to be racked at USD. And right now, currently at this time, it is worth $300,000 for any, I believe. But, uh, I do know for a fact that the coupe is $300,000 and more. Wow. That's a pretty good return. You're getting almost two hundred thousand uh, dollars for a return, and these are these are always going up in prices every year. Kind of coupes, um, and I'm not surprised. I mean, it's an eighty Mercedes V12. Mercedes isn't making a V12 anymore. They made their last batch, final edition V12, last year for the S65. So unfortunately, you know the the. Uh, 2021 S-Classes won't have a V12, they'll have a 4 liter by turbo V8 to be paired with a model hybrid system. It's it's a sad thing, um, but you, know, you never know, I mean, hopefully the 4 liter by turbo V8 for the 2021 S-Class sounds just as good as the very boss like V12 uh, that Mercedes made. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see how this does in my favorite. And if you didn't watch the last video, guys, this track was, depending on which one you look at, my second run in my last video, let's just say it wasn't the best. But let's hope it's much better than the first one. Awesome. So in the last... Series, past the Audi, move. Inside one. Oh, okay. It's actually really a lot of different. I'm Bro, this one should be okay. Thank you very much. Okay.
Okay, I will say it does understeer. Yeah. Under slow speed, it understeers like there is no time. And, but over like high speeds and stuff, it can be very, very controllable. Um, yeah, and the low acceleration has really weird handling. Like, it will understeer, but, but once you get enough power, you're gonna understeer. It's really weird. It's hard to like moderate the acceleration for this car. Handling's a bit off. I don't know what it is. Have the Volvo Grandpa Wagon, thank you very much. Uh, 150, pretty good. I think we have about 640. Past the M3, fantastic. I ate a wall. Another wall. My superb driving. See, the thing is, right, people say that my driving skills are really bad. And I'm not gonna name who it is from, but, um, you know, someone said that my driving skills are the best at the time. But, you know, the thing is, right, my driving skills are just true. I don't know, I don't know what he was on the day we're talking about, you know? They're, 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 um, Lewis Hamilton, level. Right? You know, I'm a very big fool, I like to say, but, uh, super and that is that sometimes my geniusness my driving skills are so good that it scares me yeah. that's why i crash it scares me my own driving skills scares me that is how good I am. yeah that that is how it works hey i mean second first try and beatable on this track with this car I'll take that. One more lap. Let's see if I can pass this car. Speed and power. Give me all of that. Because I'm gonna break all. Ouch. Mercedes won't be happy. If any Mercedes executives are watching, which I highly doubt any of them, I am very sorry about crashing the one of the most significant Mercedes cars in history. That's the key for the and I just want to see that this car is super amazing. Another wall. No, oh, it's so slow in the power. Might as well be a land yacht. Finally, there you go. You see, it, it, it's just like an 80s. It, it, it's just like any other 80s car. You know, under, under 5,000 RPM, it takes about 30 years to. Uh, get one mile an hour more but you know once once it's on it guys it goes look at that no not that no 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 I don't mean look at the me crashing over the wall I mean look at you know, the speed we are achieving in this big boat and there you go, the first 360 into the finish line, see that is style points, and now we have come in first place. Because of that, okay, if it's good enough, it's first place, yup. I don't know why the game thought, you know, it was a uh, fifth place, I mean, sorry, second place. Like, what the, bro, the game's really funny. Yeah, see, look, I got uh, there's some very weird aspects about this. Another thing I don't get is why is there the two exhaust tips? Those are very good at going to this one. Why is there two exhaust tips that's not in the center, nor are they separate? Quirky feature like a living deal, man. Yeah, I will say when you're gonna burn out, make sure you're in a very, very, as in red line in the car. Because once you put in the second one, you're gonna burn out. Uh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. This is what AMG is known. This is what AMG is supposed to do. It's 
fifth kill all time. It's a German muscle car. Same way as Dodge is, you know, known for making cars that destroy tires like no one else. The Germans would do the same thing as this. This is a bit more luxury. Just a tiny bit. Just to drive this thing is so cool. I don't know. It feels so much like a boss in this car. I don't know. I mean, it's only a game, but still, you know. Oh, wow. I mean, look now. Look, it's quiet, you know, civilized. Now it's an S650. But now you know, get on the throttle a bit. Let me do some serious damage. Look at that look. It's quiet. It's comfy. You know, there's, there's no, like, unnecessary pops and bangs and whatnot. Actually, let's park here. So we'll park. Look at that. Fantastic. I love this. Look at that. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 parking car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you do like this car and if you enjoyed this video, me crashing the walls every 3 seconds, make sure to like, leave a comment below if you like this S65, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications. I will be doing a very special review next week, and I'll see you then, or tomorrow, you never know. Have a good day, and stay safe. Bye-bye.